guys. I, on behalf of my company, IW Software Solutions Private Limited, would like to demonstrate one of my products, Micron, in this particular video. Micron is basically a rice quality analysis system. It does rice quality analysis based on the physical characteristics of rice, like average length of your sample, whiteness, that is the cat, cat whiteness value, then uh, the weight percentage of chalky grains, damaged grains, discolored grains, and your complete grading based on the physical characteristics. Now, Micron is basically a network-based system. What we have done is we have tried to um, manage the gap between the management and the lab. So the lab person, he does the scanning, he gets the results, but the management doesn't need to communicate with the lab person. They can view the same thing on their own mobile or laptop or tablet, whatever. So this is a network-based system. Now I try to log in into this one. When I put in my key, okay, the moment I enter into this software, I get to see the last scan that I did on this particular computer. Okay, now I'll detail this uh, scan results later. Right now, let's learn how do, how do we do a new scan. You click on the scan sample, Choose what rice process, is it steamed or parboiled or golden or raw, what type? Okay, this is dark steam, the one I'm checking. Then what rice variety? I say this is 1401. Then you also need to choose your vendor in case you're an exporter. Okay, you're procuring rice from multiple sources or you're a trader. In that case, you need to select which particular vendor has provided you this particular rice sample. Okay, now when I click the scan sample, now from here, it takes around 20 to 25 seconds. The grains that you put in the scanner, they will be scanned by this particular software, done the analysis, and then the report will appear on your screen in maximum 25 seconds. Let's wait. Yeah, here it comes. Now when I see the result of this analysis, it says there are 295 grains in total, one joint grain. So in case two grains are joined, it tries to separate them automatically. If it is able to do it, it tells you, okay. Now it says there is some amount of broken grains in this particular sample. I'll see later, what is that? Now 7.93, that's the average length of your sample. If I exclude this one broken grain, one or two, whatever, if I exclude these broken, then the length is 7.94. This is your average width, 1.728. This is average LW ratio. Now your whiteness index, this is your cat value for this particular sample. There is no discolored grains in this sample. There are three damaged grains and chalky grains. There are 1.83% chalky grains. Now we have kept this flexible. Now uh, you can select how much part of a grain is chalky, then you consider that as chalky. I say if it is 15%, 50%, then 3.72% of your sample is chalky, okay? When I go further, I get to see that the sample that I've just checked, uh, it belongs to the one category, that means the long grain category. Okay, so 6.65, above 6.65, for me that is one. This is my setting, you can customize that up to uh, according to you, okay? So 99.5% of the grains that I've put in the scanner right now, they belong to this category. 0.22%, that means just one grain belongs to the second one and then tibar. This one grain, this is the broken grain that belongs to your tibar category. Now, accordingly, dubar, mongra, if there are grains belonging to this category, they will be reported to. Okay, now you can, uh, means increase or reduce the number of categories and their length ranges as per your grading system. Then this is cut analysis. Cut analysis says uh, five to six mm, you got 0.20% of the grains, 0.83% belongs to uh, six to seven mm, 49.14%, that, that's the seven to eight mm grains and so on. So this is cut analysis. Now let's say I want some, some, some result like how many grains above 7.5 mm. Then I'll use this 
filtering system. I'll say 7.5, 11. Now, 83.75% of the grains in this particular sample, they are above 7.5 mm length. Now, this is complete detail. Okay, we have the facility to see individual rice with its characteristics. I can go to results, rice details. I'll get each and every individual rice listed over here. I go back. Now, one feature that exists with only our scanner is continuous scan. Let's say you have a bigger cutting. You're not uh, means working with a 200 or 300 or 400 grain sample. You want that, uh, you want your results on a bigger sample, let's say 1000 grains, 1200 grains. In that case, means you can't put all the grains at one time in your scan. So you will do that in two or three times. So the first time you go to scan sample, you tell which variety, what is the process, you do the scanning. Next time you change the grains and click on continuous scan. Once you click continuous, the results of the next grains will be added to the previous one. Okay, so you can keep on piling up the number of grains and get the results for a bigger sample. That makes your results more reliable, more accurate. Now that's the purpose of making this software to make it very reliable, very accurate, according to the demands of rice industry. And it is, it is successfully running in more than 130 different companies all throughout India. And now we are expanding globally also. We are going in other countries. This software is able to work with milled rice, the white rice. Then uh, you can get the uh, length, broken grains, red grains and green grains in a brown rice sample and the sortex rejection if we check the sortex rejection over here we have a special rejection scan i'll go to scan sample i can check this rejection scan now you will get the amount of good grains that you're getting lost in the sortex rejection if that goes beyond a particular value it's it's a loss for your company so that we report with utmost accuracy. Yes, guys, accuracy is the main thing that we emphasize on. All these results have been hundreds of times checked and then only delivered to our clients. We assure you of complete accuracy and excellent service on part of our company. We have a complete team to make sure that none of our clients faces problem in running this software. That's it for me. Thank you.